out of y'all. We're back up with it. Some Resident Evils. Waking up the next day and wanting to play a video game. What the hell? What the hell is this life? What the heck were we doing last time? Hopefully we're merchanting and saving and merchanting. I run around a little bit, you know. Get a little bit of warm up going. A Fortnite strafe. Oh god, <laughs> that inventory is looking. I was watching a little uh, walkthrough of a YouTuber, Seamus, SSOH, KC, and his inventory, he's way back at the Delagos. I like how small the striker is. So how many spots does that sniper take up that I got there? Oops. It's gotta look cool in the inventory, that's the rule. At least the guns. This sniper takes up 14 spots. The other the other one only takes up nine. So the other one's actually a pretty decent option. I think one of these runs all freaking just take the other one for fun. So I don't think we get a magnum this time. Like if I could sacrifice some of my crazy inventory. Like I could definitely fit a magnum in here, it's just like then I don't got room for magnum ammo. Then I gotta upgrade a magnum. I don't want to, like, sell a sniper. I ain't taking out no re regenerators without that freaking infrared skull was all I know. Screw that. That's scary. Oh, my! T when did my TMP ammo get so good? See, it's like all of a sudden you, you pick up two ammos and you don't even notice and you got 300 fucking bullets. <laughs> See, now it would probably make sense to reload and then do the capacity next time and just, like, use that bolt the bullets, but... I think now I'm gonna like try to run through a little pistol, a little rifle, and a little shotty, like focus on these three. Obviously, those are the only other guns I have, but <laughs> it's just like my inventory is just full of every supply. <laughs> Even though I thought I was getting destroyed, but I guess I didn't get beat up that bad. Still haven't touched my glorious eggs or all these freaking amounts of green herbs I've gotten on this run. Ooh, don't want to miss this. That would piss me off. You need these, like when I, when I throw a couple good grenades and it makes like a tough room easy, that's like such a satisfying feeling. Oh crap, I didn't check how to do this glitch, bro. I have no clue. making it up like I don't even know. Dang. I guess we'll find out. We'll have to play with it without the glitch for now. Oof. I, I love looking at my inventory. <laughs> at, 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 in the beginning you like playing the game and by the end of the game you just like staring at your inventory. <laughs> I literally have 60... No way bro. How did I get that much shotgun ammo? The game really gave you a lot of shotgun ammo, bro. I was felt like I was using it quite a bit too. You know what? This castle would be so easy if you did if you just got the riot gun. <laughs> even if you didn't even upgrade it, even if 
You just sold the normal one, or maybe just upgraded the firepower on the riot gun. Like, a lot of those rooms would have been way easier. So then, like, you'd snipe the guard door with the rifle and switch to the shoddy. Boom body. Maybe that would give you some extra damage. Like, the shield guys would be significantly easier with a strong shotgun. There's a lot of shield guys that you have to fight, or that I already fought, and then... Those armored guys are super fucking hard to kill. I don't I don't even know what, like what was good to use on them. It seems like that ammo capacity thing like tricks the game somehow so you get a little bit extra ammo. Like look at I got I got 35 rifle. I'm about to use a lot of this ammo though, so maybe I should stop being happy with how much I got. But look at the shoddy. I should I should spam some shoddy on the gigantes. I know they're coming cuz I always remember like I would do Verdugos, and then right after I all that frightening terror, like you're 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 thrown back against the Gigante again. If I can keep this 300 TMP bullets and then upgrade the capacity to like 200, bro, 500 TMP bullets, I can fry through like two bosses with that. This is the uh, best I've ever done, probably. I did I do know quite a bit about this game. I can't believe I missed. The, the Magnum, though. That, like... That was gut-wrenching. I really wanted to get that on this playthrough. I always miss... Because it's, like, a... Hard to... Know where to backtrack, you know? It'd be nice to buy a Magnum right now, but... It's just... It just makes more sense to get... Wait a little bit, and then I can exclusive upgrade some of my guns. And then... You're basically OP. So what do we got? 30, 60, 65, 80 shotgun bullets, plus 92 shot. I can't even believe that, you know? When did I get all them bullets? I even missed some loot. I didn't go back and loot with Ashley on accident because I accidentally, like, walked into the... Uh, rail car system thing and whatever. So our pistol ammo isn't actually that good because we're about to fry through some of it. But our shoddy ammo is super good. Hopefully, I might. I don't know if I ever killed both of the gigantes. I think I always like knocked one of them in the of them in a the fire. I might try to kill both of them, but it just might. If it's not worth it and I keep dying or something, then I might cheap out. We'll see. I have really good guns though, so if I can't do it, that kind of sucks. Alright, what do we do here? We have a lot of shotgun. We have a lot of everything. We can pretty much do anything. Burn. That's awesome. Like when you shoot them right when they're about to. Oh. Oh, you're not dead. I thought that killed him. Two pistol bullets, that's not bad. Okay, I didn't know if that fire like hurt you a little bit or something. So that's a nice thing. Oh yeah, velvet blue baby. This game's so much better on mouse and keyboard once you get used to it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that I was just that bad when I started. I'm pretty happy with how comfy it's gotten though. And my aiming needs just a little bit more work. Because it's kind of hard to tell where you're aiming in this game. But that's like the most difficult f part about it, honestly. And then just like knowing where you can dash back and where you can... Oh, crap. This is like a big-ass room, isn't it? Some hard enemies. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. It'd be nice to just start sniping every one of them, right? I don't know if it's worth wasting all my ammo like that. Plus, if you snipe them out there... I kind of want to burn one of them, you know? Burn them alive. If I can fr double frag grenade the Gigantes, that might be really good. I could, like, if I could hit them both with a frag, and then, like, snipe one of them and cut them up. I don't know if you can knife on the back when they're both together. Hopefully you can, I don't know. I don't remember that fight. It must be easy with upgraded guns or something, because I don't remember it. Or maybe 
My memory is just really bad on this game. Like, I want my TMP reloader, but I think I can do all these areas without it. It'd probably be, make sense to go up and use a flame grenade on a group of them. So I can get all their loot for sure. It's fun to see like how little supplies you need. That guy's shit won't blow up, bro. That's what I wanted to happen. That worked out perfectly. Is there a guy on me? You're about to get shotgun rain, bro. I'm pissed. Try to come back. <laughs> Try to come back from that, bitch. This game just gives you money when you have a full inventory. <laughs> I want a better full inventory that's also just equally as full. No! Oh. Okay, now we're gonna use some of this pistol. Maybe, and then go back to the merchant and upgrade my capacity on it. Let's see. I know there's like some hard enemies that come, like a chainsaw guy and shit. I'm about to get my... so scared. Don't throw stuff, bro. Their aim is so good on I me. Mean. Sorry, I'm itching. Okay, there's a box I want to get over there. I really don't know what to do. Oh, what's this guy? I don't know when that dynamite is going to blow up, man. Wasting rifle shots. Okay, I gotta use this pistol. Where did that guy come? I wanted him to blow up on him. He like... The, the throw that guy got was so good. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna reload this pistol. Man. Oh shit. Where did he come from? No. I'm hit, bro. Where did that. Oh, I wish I had it. No. Wow, how did that not hurt me? Quit blowing us both up. What? Someone else agree with me that that was the same. Yeah. There's 
like staggered and grabbed it. Okay. That's going pretty good. A lot of shy. Somebody. Nice. Go back and get my pistol upgrade. That's the one thing I like about this game is you can just pretty much go back at any moment in most areas. And that freedom of going wherever you want. Whenever you want. Welcome. Got some rare things on. What are you buying? Yeah, we can do this. Is that all strength? <laughs> Boom. Thank you. Free pistol bullets. Actually, though, they were really expensive. But we got some pistol bullets. Capacity here. So let's fry through a, a strike or two. So. We don't got this going. That's okay. Come back at any time. Missing my TMP, bro. This part of the game is dope because it's like your red nine is super strong. You get, you just got the striker, which is super nice close up. You probably have like one of the sniper rifles or a magnum. Back to our friends. The chainsaw guys are honestly weak as fuck. I mean, it, it went really good. But like, compared to how he was in the beginning. You know? Oh, I could have. Oh, I didn't want that guy to go off. Oh, how I want the Magnum. The sniper is so easy to aim on my keyboard. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I should reload. I don't really have anything to use against these guys if I don't. Okay, we do have three grenades though. Let's kind of give you a second. Maybe I should just reload the shotgun once and then try to not reload it during the fight. And just use the combo of the three weapons to get all 
the damage I need, maybe. Oh, no, no. I don't want to discard my extremely powered up gun. Keep this out. Pretty sure this is good damage. Let's do our looting thing. How about that? Oh, my God. We could definitely afford to reload our shotgun. Oh, I didn't know they come out this fast, bro. Take a hit like a new. Oh. I want to redo this. <laughs> if these guys just have more health, they look bigger. I didn't know they would have more, way more health, man. I didn't know. Now I think it would just kind of make sense to redo. I'd... He's like about to go down, right? Yeah, I'm redoing it. <laughs> I'm about to just fucking grenade two of them. And then not even open that thing or something, I don't know. Should I try that? I didn't know this was such an ammo dump. Holy shit. I felt like I did a... Like, I sniped him, like, five times. I hit him with a grenade perfectly. I shotgunned him with, like, six bullets. Right, right up on him, you know? Jeez. All right, this time I think I'm just gonna start by just spamming my nades at both of them. See what happens. This might not even be good, but whatever. You guys are insane, bro. Three grenades. I thought that would get him one of them. I'm just gonna try a risky shot. Nope. We'll do this one. Shotgun is terrible against this guy. The fucking shit. Why do they come so fast? That's what she said. Literally just keep 
doing and I'm sniping at one time, like what? I think if I go up there fast enough. How did I not even get him one time? This place is rough, bro. Maybe I should try to use some... What other bullets can I even use, really, right? How much do I got left in this? I fried through a lot of that. Maybe we can get a knock on one of them with the pistol.
go up here just to maybe reload a gun. This trick never gets old. Now what do I do? DMP would be nice. Knocking the same guy twice would have been nice. Sniper. I think I'm just gonna try a shotgun. that lava stay open? I'm not gonna reload a rifle and just use it to get a, one of the kills or something. I ran up right away, bro. Let me snipe you a couple of times. Grande aren't so scary when there's only one of them. Alright, next up. 109 pistol, hella shotgun bullets. And if we use these shotgun bullets, it makes sense to use these now. I use so much rifle bullets, holy shit. Now I like have to get a magnum. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. It's like no time to shoot him in the face. kind of down to get hurt there, I don't know why. Probably wasn't a good idea. I use this. got hella shoddy. I thought he dropped me more money, bro. Magnum would be nice here. Just hit him twice with a fucking upgraded Magnum or something. I get a killer seven, I don't know. Striker just ain't that good against the Gigantes. Probably makes sense just to reload the striker and shoot him again. Let me 
don't want to be a real bro. Oh, he's really over there. Uh, I might get a pistol upgrade. Oh, there's one shot. Man, that sucks. I knew it was close. Items are on the edge of the. <laughs> edge of the screen thing, I don't know about that. Not really good items either. Oh, our ammo's hurting, but. Somehow they always seem to stock us up after. There's some of it. Oh crap. Okay, what are we gonna need here? A TMP would be amazing. I'll, I'll just waste so many bullets if I use the TMP. I say we... Don't use any rifle. Unless there's like a way to snipe a couple of them free for sure. For sure, for sure. We'll pretty much have to reload this. This is gonna be our gun. We wanna do high damage and not miss any shots. We can. Rifle, maybe it was... If I kill him over the air, I don't think I even get anything. I don't even know how this works. Do they come after me? I ain't fighting them unless they're on land. <laughs> Gotta run on by. I ain't fighting you, you ain't fighting me. No one's fighting. Oh shit, bro. I wasn't ready for that. He's jumping. Oh, I wasted a shot. Oh. Smash my P button when they're doing that shit. I did that on accident, but. I did that an accident, like at the perfect time. Let's see what we can... See if we can hoard even more shotgun ammo. Even though I should just use it. It's coming for me now. Oh, shit. Hey, girl. No, I think his item went away. I missed one of the lamps. I'm not happy about that. Getting our rifle ammo back. I don't want to miss anything. It's like what I've been doing a lot of. A couple of guys over there. They'll come and kill me eventually. Sounds like something's right on me. Too. Seems like they die. We 
coming for me? You want some of those? Okay. Is that nice? Might be like another wave. I should probably just reload this handgun. You know, I'm getting low on bullets. Holy crap, these yeah, these are the kind of guys that eat your handgun bullets, man. Infinite spawn motherfuckers. Of course we missed the other butterfly lamp when we like get all these eyes. Here we go. Oh my god, where are these guys come from? I swear, like, you cannot avoid that damage. It's just like, you're getting hit for a shit ton. He's one of these triple guys. Dang, that guy does a lot. Alright. No, no, they just... They're just a waste of fucking time. Maybe I'll be happy about something after this. <laughs> I'll buy another wave of them coming. I find out while we're using all of our shotgun bullets, huh? Oh, here. Now we can. The value grenade or something. Oh, shit. 
shit. They're coming in big this time. You like need this. Look at that wave, holy crap. You can't buy ammo, but I'll give you a five jillion of these things. I don't like these guys. Why are nice and safe? Why am I facing the wrong way? That was annoying. Two massive damages for like no fucking reason. I'm not as vibrant as I was yesterday. <laughs> I need to breathe. I feel like I'm missing something. I missed an item on the ground too. I think that happened because I spazzed that. Oh, finally gave me some TMP. What the fuck? I've been using that shit at all, man. Won't give me any. I guess I probably should have just did the obvious linear path to the game. They haven't given me a yellow herb in a while either. I think I missed one. No, there was a, that was annoying, man. I could have just pressed the button. Okay, good. Thanks, game, for forgiving me. That's how they tricked you right there. They're like, oh, the only way you avoid this damage is if you press the button. If you don't press the button, you die. Okay, I don't know what I just did wrong. Is it like a very small gap between those two? Oh my god. I should have looked up the Dipman glitch. Could be sprinting through this like there's nothing. Of course I died in the, the, the two ways you can die here. Alright, that was easy. Okay, what's this? Three of them. How do you do that? Nice. I don't understand. There's like not an area to go. I think if you just run, you make it through. I don't know. I'm about to freaking look up the dip man glitch. I don't know how to get through this. I don't understand. They all go down pretty much at the same time. 
just really have to be at exact perfect timing. This of all rooms is the one that gets me, right? Am I supposed to do something? Does the middle one kill you? Consulting the strategy guide. That's it. The puzzle is too hard. Much, much too hard. Wow, it was super easy. Super easy, man. Hey, at least we're in like a fun area of the game. Kind of want to learn the Dipman glitch. I think you can get through there with. Watch. I'm going to be amazed. Okay, maybe not. Be like a switch on the wall. I don't see shit. Oh my god. How did I miss that switch, bro? Like a giant ass switch. That is literally like the easiest puzzle ever. <laughs> Somehow I messed it up. Yo, boop. unreloaded gun so I can waste some of my healing items and get sad about it. I got a lot of random green herbs laying around in my giant ass inventory. Now it's like very tempting to, very very tempting to get a magnum. Cause then like maybe it'll just give me more ammo. It's like oh you got more guns? Gun types? Here have some more ammo types. I feel like I'm about to have like a shit ton of money. Even though I missed out on a, like a hundred freaking K. I missed out on like 60 K. Oh, we did that. Where the heck did we go now? I know what to do with that. Dang, we got a lot of those. This one. Nice. At least we got one completed butterfly, butterfly lamp. These, I think we could just sell them soon. Chilling. I want a save point, man. <laughs> Give me a save point. Oh, is this like a... You get treasure for killing all those damn green guys. the next part of this game kind of whack <laughs> you like really have to loot while you're in a minecart 
to make sure you got bullets for some of the stuff after. Hopefully, this guy's got my TNT ammo upgrade. Letter from Sexy Ada. She's dead. Welcome. The old merchant. Got some rare things on sale. What are you buying? Damn, bro. But we I don't think we can quite do the exclusive yet. The all inclusive exclusive. What else can we do? Get our bullets for this. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I'm a firepower whore. You know I want to be. Come on, TMP. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. How much is that? I can't even fathom. Oh, 25,000. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Is that all, stranger? <laughs> EMP Thank upgrade, you. like a motherfucker. We'll save this capacity upgrade. Is that all, stranger? Even more firepower. <laughs> Thank you. We're pretty much committed to the no magnum route. Red nine. Hell yeah. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? Why not? <laughs> Thank you. This is the most money I've ever spent in this game. I think we can empty this shotgun a little bit and then do that in a second. Is that all? <laughs> We're gonna do this too. Thank now you. our guns are popping. Our guns are. What are you selling? You have right now. Besides, if you had a fully upgraded Magnum. Ooh, this gives us back a nice little bit. I would have got another ah, 32,000. <laughs> Thank you. So, oh, look at that one. They just, like, give you this one. You basically get this one if for playing the game. That one's insane. Ah. <laughs> I guess Thank you kind of need that. Is that all strange? <laughs> oh, the blue eyes hard to Thank find. You. That's what it's all about. Okay. Is that all stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all stranger? <laughs> That's a money bag. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, oh, our TMPs worth so much. Now we got 200 bullets. We got 548 bullets for a TMP. That's nasty. I'm pretty sure we could just sell these, but they're not really even worth that much compared to. Oh, crap. What I are you buying? Bought. Holy crap. Come. Yeah, with mouse and keyboard, it's nice to run without the stocks on your Red 9 and your TMP. So now we want to use this striker and then upgrade the capacity. The red nine, I don't know, what does it get? One more capacity upgrade? I don't even know if it does. Oh, we can check. Oh, it does. I don't know when that is. Probably soon. Yeah, so in this section, of course it's a good section for the TMP. You gotta be firing a bunch of bolts quick at these guys. We're trying to, we're going to try to empty the shoddy, or keep the shoddy empty for the next merchant, and then probably should just reload this, and try to empty some of that snipe for the next merchant, too. Daytime.
Good old merchant. We're still in a the castle. Their castle area is a pretty loose extension of the word castle. Loose interpretation. So there's probably some goodies hiding around here too. I don't know what kind of guys we fight here, I don't even know. I like they got a little return to the former easy enemies. They're all gonna come at me. Oh shit. Wow. Got a level red nine powered up. Oh my god, the red nine obliterates these guys. I could probably run up and use my shotgun on these guys, right? This is like almost worth dying to the death of this grenade. Un forastero! Now that this. Like give you a little area where you're just way too powerful. I ain't complaining. Gotta check every last piece of maybe goodies. I don't even know what we're gonna do with all these flash grenades. I have loot spots in the abandoned houses. Oh. So the shit you got for me up here. This wouldn't be a bad spot if you want to come up and snipe all these guys, but that spot's just so easy if you just waste one grenade and a couple shotty shots. Alright, something up in these tr Oh. I must miss you. I must miss nothing. <laughs> now it's like a merchant's like right there. Maybe I should just upgrade. People like to keep money random spots. Ramticulars. I'm going to. I feel like that. I want fully reloaded guns for the next part, you know? Like a minecart, freaking Donkey Kong part. I'm excited. I'm going to play Donkey Kong, like, probably after I beat this game, or I might start it even today. But I can't decide if I what Donkey Kongs to play. As a kid, I only played the first one, and I I always wanted to play the second one and the third one, but we didn't have them. What are you buying? For no reason, I think I'm just gonna. Try to like play it risky and maybe there's a merchant up ahead. <laughs> maybe he'll beat me to the, to the next merchant spot somehow. See, I don't know if there's a family of merchants who love each other or if this merchant is just got playing you the whole time. He's like, you get the pesetas, do all the work and I'll have all the money. Do the hard lifting. You do the heavy lifting. I'll get the money. Got our snake box here, probably. 
Okay. Nothing around. Dude, they really should have done some more, like, blue medallion type stuff. I don't know what was on that door right there. I like this area. It's not... It's a nice change of pace from, like, the... The castle area. It's like... The castle area is like you were there for quite a while. Sacrifice of the lion. I need to do more... I need to make some of the items, like, more puzzly to get, you know? So... so you're not puzzling me enough. Oh, now I'm terrified. Now I kind of want to save and quit. <laughs> Probably going to regret not reloading this shotgun. We'll see. The TMP might be good. Isn't there like some fucking chainsaw guys? This is quite the shooting extravaganza. Oh, is my rifle ammo? This is a good spot for a rifle, bro. It's that guy. Look at how dumb this guy is. Hopefully he doesn't just like chainsaw me when I go in the door and make me look stupid. What? Is there two here? Shotty goes to him. 30. We're still in pretty good. Back out of this area. I don't know, there's two chainsaw guys. That was pretty fun. Didn't I like snipe through three of them right here? Where's this bitch? Oh, shit. I thought there was like a girl left. Oh, there's more?
gonna play like bitches. You wouldn't put a state for sure. Oh shit. That looks like an important area. I don't know where that goes. Finally got our another little yellow guy going. Nice unmissable yellow. Unskippable. Impossible yellow. Uh, let's see how many bear traps we can get hit by. We really have to get on top of that thing. I'll just throw money at you because their upgrades are crazy. So we got that door. Oh, what? Oh, there's like another item on this. Maybe not. Let's check it. I'm not afraid. That's for. There we go, make some weird noises. Go back to our merchant friend and upgrade. If we can. Oh. A little velvet blue action. Headed back to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Merchant. Merchant Diago. I want some food, but uh, we only really got the type of food I'm looking for. Uh, hungry. Phil Merchant's here, right? He doesn't got his music, though. Welcome. Got some rare things on. What are you buying? Boom. Is that all strength? <laughs> oh, of ammo. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I take delight in in this game. And Is we that all stranger? Of ammo <laughs> Thank you. Now our, all of our castle weapons are looking super strong. Come back <laughs> at any time. Even two chainsaw guys is nothing. Mostly because I have a max upgraded sniper. And I'm playing mouse and keyboard. So our bullets are looking pretty good again, except for pistol. But we're kind of making up for that with the TMP and the knife and the shotgun and everything. Plus we'll probably end up getting the exclusive upgrade on pretty much all four of our weapons. Or at least three of them or something. Uh, kind of want to get the Dipman glitch before I go on. What the heck did I just get in that room? I got like a key and then like a I can't sell that, can I? What are you selling? That like staff I got? That's probably not a sellable. Oh it was. 
They really give you a lot of syllables, man. Is that old school? <laughs> Thank you. I don't remember getting this much money. Holy crap. Let's save again just for the save sake. I could play more. I'm really far in this game now. It seems like a little bit ago I was just in the castle. I'm on chapter 4 or 3, almost done with the whole castle area. And there's not much after that, honestly. It's just like a couple island rooms that take like an hour or two. But we did most of the fun parts of the game, and now our weapons are upgraded, and now we're sad. This is the part of the game where you realize, like, oh, it's almost over. You wish that they, like, got up to nine chapters or something, but... Or, like, even, like, seven chapters, but, but I, like, stopped pretty soon. And that's why you fill up some time with talking. So you don't miss the game too much. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I... Here, I'm talking about my Don you guys can leave if you don't care. But I'm talking about my Donkey Kong Country videos I'm doing next. And I'm just trying to think like If I play the fir you know what I mean? Like if I play the first one and I get all warmed up at Donkey Kong, then when I play the second one it might not feel as special, you know. But if I play this the second one for right now, and it's like my first time playing Donkey Kong Country in like fucking 10 years. And even before that, I, I never really, I never even beat one of them. I only got really far in the first one, I think. I might have beat the first one like one time, like 10 years ago or something, I can't remember. But, uh, if I play the second one right away, then it's like, ooh, I get that like nos nostalgia feeling of playing an old game. Uh, but it's like a, a game I haven't played before, and I, I'm not like warmed up at Donkey Kong because I didn't just like play through the whole first game. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm th kind of thinking. Like I'm flying, I'm thinking that I should play the second one and maybe even the third one, and then go back and play the first one sometime. Just because I I know the first one decently. Like, you know what I mean? Like I know all the bosses. I know a lot of. What the levels are like. I know the, the creatures you get to ride on top of. You know what I mean? Like, I know everything about it, pretty much. I forget some things, like what the map looks like and the overworld map and what uh, some of the later levels are like. But for the most part, I know a lot about the first game. I don't know any... I, like, when I was a kid, I loved the, the first game. Not quite enough, but... Because I wasn't that good at platforming games yet but uh i loved the first game and and i didn't even really know there was like a second game and a third game you know like i had an idea that there was other donkey kong games maybe but when you were before the internet you know it was like it wasn't easy to know exactly every single game that was out as a kid you know with no access if you didn't have like every game magazine and you didn't have a, a bunch of friends or like you didn't live in the city with a bunch of friends who all have games you know what I mean there's like no way to know every game but now it's like you can pretty much look at a list of every game that was made for a console so it's not really a thing anymore it's, it's weird to think about that change you know I'm kind of feeling like just going for a walk like I want to play more of this but I kind of want to savor the end of it a little bit you know Overall, like, I love this game. I just, I wish there was, like, a, some more optional rooms. Like, a little bit more puzzles to, like, unlock, like, maybe special guns or whatever. Um, I wish the village section was a bit longer. Some of the castle section, you know, like, some more normal rooms. Like, the castle section's fun, because it's different, but it, it's also, like, it leaves you wanting some more like normal rooms, you know, where there's like one, they're, they're not like a, a big sequence event of a bunch of zombies, it's just like an area where some zombies are roaming, you know? It just oh, adds to the open world feel of the castle a little bit. 
Like that, I think that would be a good change. Or something along those lines. New area in the castle that, where you fight a different type of enemy or something, or get a different gun type. That's, that's why I hope they, because I mean, the game's good, but having a game that you can beat in 15 hours when you're playing through it really slow, that's kind of, you know what I mean? You like kind of want your game to be like 20 hours at least, you know? Like 20 to 20 to 30, really. If it's like a big AAA, this game's only coming out, or this game, you know, this game is like gonna be the best version where we've done of it so far, you know what I mean? Like Super Mario Odyssey, that's another game. It's like, you can beat that game in like three hours or less or something, <laughs> like, without even being a speedrunner, you know what I mean? Not maybe not that fast, but you can beat it fast without being a speedrunner. And that being like the big 3D Mario game of the system just kind of leaves you wanting. It's like, where's my game? You know, you you paid you made me pay 60 bucks for some kitty levels, and now like anything challenging or fun isn't really an option. There's not it's not in the game. There's not you're not gonna add anything to the game. You're not gonna add bonus levels. You know what I mean? So it just kind of leaves the game and it's like, wait, I paid $60 for like an adventure Mario game that's, it's, it's pretty fun, but it's like, there's not much to it, you know? You could beat it in one day easily, you know, like not even, struggling a little bit. I don't know. It just doesn't have like the, the the quality that Mario Sunshine had or Mario 64 had, you know? That, that, with all the little details, all the little things, secrets to find, different ways the, the levels change that you go into, you know? That's something I feel like they did better on the Mario Galaxy, they did better on every Mario game before Odyssey. But, uh, what the heck? Kinda wanna play some Donkey Kong. I'll never be able to decide which Donkey Kong I... That's my problem. I don't have a problem playing the game. It's fun to play the game for me. But, picking which picking the order that I do them, I could spend a lifetime doing that. I always have the weirdest problems with decision making. Like, I could always figure out the hard part of things <laughs> then I just would like struggle way too much with something that's obvious you know that's, I feel like that's sums up my intelligence pretty good just make massive problems out of little things and then handle very hard problems like it's nothing not all the time you know like you can't solve any problem. You get shot in the stomach, you might fucking die, you know? You can't just willpower your way through death, you know? I think the biggest thing is, like, after we played Resident Evil 4, <laughs> like, we hated everything they made after that. Because they wouldn't do anything that was even, like, similar, you know? They didn't even come close. Resident Evil 5 was, like, a co-op adventure game where there was like no backtracking and no weapon management, no inventory management, no, you know what I mean? It, I don't know, it's, no like different enemy, there wasn't that many different enemy types that you really got to know and love and hate. I don't know, there's just something about five that felt like it wasn't done with as much love as, it was like done with like, how many sales can we get? Instead of how of, uh, fun of a game can we make, you know? And that, I, I don't even know if I'll ever play that game again, you know? Like maybe like one time I would run through it really fast on the easiest difficulty. And then Resident Evil 6 was like even worse. There's like rooms of zombies that just stood still. Like it wasn't even as good as Resident Evil 4. 
Like some parts of it seemed like they were gonna be cool, like the graphics and you're, oh, now you're fighting in the city. But then like the city environment wasn't fun to fight in. And it just like reused a lot of enemies from Resident Evil 4. And the story sucked and it wasn't as cool as Resident Evil 4. And the weapons didn't get upgraded. And there was like no, nothing to work for, you know? In, in this game, it's like, at least you work for your weapon upgrades and the secrets and, I don't know, man. It's, I can't even just believe that they came out with Resident Evil 5 and 6 are just so fucking trash. It's not even funny. And then, it's like, how do you make such a great game that people love and then, like, not at least even come close to it next time, you know? <laughs> it's like Halo and Destiny. Halo, for its time, was amazing now, and then Destiny came out and it was... Seemed like it could be super fun, but then you realized it was like extremely bland story missions where you just fight waves of enemies that nothing really, you know, like there's no de depth, no details of the gameplay. The graphics were kind of nice, but that was like all, oh, you know, it's like they put all their money into graphics and then and then making it a free free to play game where they sell skins or something. I don't know what they sell on that game. And then, Resident Evil 7, like, I kind of want to play it, but I've seen it, and it's it's not like an action game. It's like a horror game, you know? Like, what I like about Resident Evil 4 is it's got, it's scary, but it's got, like, adventuring, humor, puzzling, puzzle, puzzling moments, you know, good cutscenes, and then it's got also got, like, a nice, like, well made balanced um fighting system you know but if you look at if i have everything i've seen from resident evil 7 like i want to like it because it's got fucking red herbs in it you know it's got herbs but what i don't what it makes me apprehensive about it is like i don't mind first person like first person resident evil 4 sounds fun you know but first person resident evil 7 seems kind of boring it seems like you're just you're going around and you're just like scrounging for a pistol bullet the entire time to shoot at one like husk zombie. It didn't even seem like there was like different enemy types. It's it seemed like a game not for Resident Evil 4 fans, but like a game for like Silent Hill fans or like Minecraft fans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something. It wasn't for Resident Evil. 4 fan but if you look at like Resident Evil 2 remake and even the, th the 3 remake those games kind of look like they were made for a Resident Evil 4 fan you know it's got like different inventory management I don't like the way they did it in that game at all but there's like a box with infinite space that you just get to put items in like that's fucking stupid I don't know why the fuck they won't just go back and like perfect the Resident Evil 4 inventory, like, they're just like, we have to be so creatively different that we'll just make a shitty inventory system instead, haha, <laughs> at least we didn't do the same thing as Resident Evil 4, that's what I don't understand, it's like, it wasn't, it's not bad to copy, we want to see if you can make it better, you know what I mean, we don't want to see if you can make something worse, and that's what they always do, it's like, you didn't copy Halo 3, you tried to make something different and made Halo 4 and made Halo 5 and made Halo Reach. And every single time you guys did it, it was bad. And it was only bad because the only thing those developers fucking thought about when they made those games was how much money can we make and how can this be different from, creatively different from, it's like they were all, they're all artists who don't really know what being an artist means or something, you know what I mean? They're all game designers who don't really know what designing games mean. And a big part of it to me is like building on, upon the, the foundation. Like you could make like some generic platformer and it kind of plays like Cuphead, but it just like takes things from like Kirby and Mario and it would be a okay game, you know? People might play it and be like, well, that game was fun. But then they play it and they realize like creatively it's, there's nothing interesting about it. 
and it doesn't even like build upon the foundation of the ideas that it does it did take you know but then you could look like at a cuphead like sequel that that takes the the foundation of the game with the the like nice like animated art style the levels that are very like vibrant and well and detailed and like does the same thing and just makes new levels and people would love that game you know what i mean and it would probably sell pretty good too like it might not sell as good as like some new game with that's different but it's it's, it's funny because developers seem like they want to make their name by making like a new game that's all their own and all their own ideas but then it just ends up being <laughs> a game where they just stole ideas from a bunch of random things and threw it into the you know into a sandbox of with a series that they're working on you know and then I don't know I just feel like a lot of the game the best games we could have had are just like buried behind developers egos and like companies misappropriating their money or like CEOs not fucking paying their workers enough and then all the creative ideas juices just fucking dry up you know like something like why didn't we get a Resident Evil 4 2 why didn't we get a Halo 3 remake a Halo 3 2 you know what I mean like people like the movement in that game they like the, how the game feels it's like you can just take a lot of those aspects slap on better graphics and it would literally be a better version of Halo 3 but instead of giving us a better version of a game we want you're gonna make us pay for a game that we end up hating you know a game that has a population of 1,000 or, or, or if you're Halo 5 every single person who had it installed has uninstalled it a few years back you know what I mean it's like I don't ever plan on playing that game again I might play that game to play the campaign one time because I never did it before but it's like when you take a series that people love and you just ruin it for for basically no reason because you don't want to use a few of the ideas from the you know what I mean it's like if they made Resident imagine Resident Evil 5 and it's nothing like the the game that they made which is dog shit and the last boss fight is the most annoying thing I've ever played in my life anyway like where's the save points man where's the merchant where's the merchant save point fight one zombie merchant save point where's my where's my relaxation time you don't have that in Halo in Halo 5 you know I mean you don't have that in Resident Evil 5 sorry I'm just messing uh well yeah you could rant about about what these developers did with their games for for years and years and years but you know what I mean? You're just getting at the same point every single time. And and basically, you, you get it by now if you even listen to one minute of me talking about it. But um, it's just, it's fun to think about all those different situations where that kind of happened, you know? Like, you could even do it with, like, Fortnite or, like, PUBG. They're like, they're like ooh, our game's get, getting super popular. Let's put all this effort and energy into it, make it super good. And people will love it. And then they love it for a while. But then, all of a sudden... People just get lazy. They don't want to work on it anymore. They don't want to make it better. They don't want to try to make the second version of it. You know what I mean? Like, where's Fortnite 2? Where's, like, a Fortnite official release with multiple maps? Where's... You know what I mean? It's like... Now they just, like... The game turned from what could have been, like, an amazing game that they sold. You know? They could have sold us a Fortnite 2. But they put no work in it for the last three years after they or basically the last two years after they had their initial run with the game and now they basically just survive off of selling skins and making people play on the same tired map that was made by a two-year-old you know what i mean it's like i could come up in, in, in five minutes with a better version of their own game you know what i mean and most people could most people you know what i mean most people who love the game could and that's the that's the reality of it, and it really those versions of the game could actually exist, and they and they could happen fairly quickly and easily. It's just like, what are people doing with their money? It's like, 
these CEOs are like making a bunch of money off of Fortnite, and then instead of kicking back to their fans an amazing game, they bought themselves a fucking Lamborghini or two or something. And like, I don't know. I don't know how the hell you make Fortnite, and then you and then you make Fortnite. You know what I mean? Like, how the hell did you guys make this game that blew up like that and did, you know, did that to so many people's lives? But then you also are the same motherfuckers who ruined that game completely and couldn't even keep it in, like, a, a somewhat playable state half the time, you know? If it wasn't an inventory glitch, it was, uh, what else do they freaking have? A glider glitch <laughs> that basically glitches for everything. You could fall into the map with multiple vehicles, you could, the, the, they never really ironed out the way the, the main mechanics of the game work for some reason. You know, like, it would have been cool if they just decided, and they were like, okay, this is how you take a wall, and this is, but they never decided, and they're just like, well, we'll just leave it up there paying again, because we don't really know what to do. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you would have just picked a way for the game to work, instead of just leaving it up to to ping, you know? Then people could uh, at least get used to something and then have some confidence in it or whatever. Um, and you could go on and on about that game, like adding a bunch of cool items and mobility and different areas in the map that people love. And then let's, oh, let's take them all the way and replace them with generic areas and no interesting items and think that that people are going to want to play that forever you know what i mean like that was something that we might have been cool with just to try for a month just to have something fresh for a few months you know three months maybe but give us the old map back give us the cool items give us multiple maps give us new game modes you know what i mean like the game modes they do I always have to fucking revolve around the same idea they stole from PUBG and stole from DayZ and stole from fucking whatever the fuck other games did this. Or H1Z1, H1N1. Fucking these toxic ass games with this toxic ass gas moving in. And they basically, like, even Warzone does it now. Like, I get the Battle Royale experience is fun. But you had an amazing game like Fortnite. There's no reason that you have to make. Like, every single game type, the same thing. A, a giant circle storm is closing in on a massive island. You know what I mean? It's like... There's more possibility there that I just feel like they were too afraid to explore. They got that a little initial formula they kind of lucked into by stealing ideas from PUBG and using their building stuff. And people loved it because it had a high skill gap at first. You know what I mean? But then as everyone got used to everything and... Even the advanced moves were just basic moves, you know what I mean? Then it gets to the point where it's like, what are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna change some game types up? I'm gonna change the way the game plays out? I'm gonna add siphon type, you know, things that make it so it's not fucking impossible for a good player to win half the time? You know what I mean? It's just like, all your players are super good at your game, but let's have massive aim assist and let's make sure there's no way for people to go over 200 health, you know what I mean? It's just like, I I came up with a bunch of ideas like back in 20, 2018 and 2019 about where this game, of where Fortnite should go, you know what I mean? And literally, they, if you listen to my ideas back then and see what they did, they didn't listen to any of them, you know what I mean? And I wasn't the only one shouting these ideas out, you know what I mean? These were people who loved the game pretty much had the general consensus, consensus, consensus that it was too dumbed down, too easy, the skill gap was lowering, they needed to keep introducing new items, and it's just like they got super lazy with any development, you know what I mean? It's like they didn't want to make any map, they didn't want to make any new spots in the map, but somehow they dumped a bunch of money into like animated cutscenes for some fucking reason that to get some hype, you know what I mean? It was like the, it was like a cheap grab to like use Fortnite's popularity just to get a little bit more money, and then and then they're gonna stop supporting the game, you know? Anyways, that's my opinion. I wasn't even planning on talking about that crap, but it's as good a time as any. 
extend out my Resident Evil 4 playthrough a little bit. That's the one thing about Resident Evil 4 is like, I just wish after you do all this work to, to get some nice guns that there was a little bit more, you know what I mean? You can kind of tell the development team like wanted to do even more with the game, but they had to finish it at some point. So they, you know what I mean? So they like cut some corners towards the later chapters and like the island just seems really short. You like run into each enemy there like one time, you know what I mean? It, like it doesn't really make any sense. And then there's like items that you buy and, and you literally only use them once at the end. And there's like no way to use them again in that playthrough. No extra areas, no, no, no places to explore, you know what I mean? And, and earlier in the game it's kind of has that more of an open world feel, you know what I mean? The village, the castle. This, this area I'm at right now, these like rooms, all of them got that that some some of that open world feel, you know. But if you look at the island at the end, it, it seems like they just kind of like were rushed to pack in some boss fights, you know. <laughs> so then we didn't really get that like nice feel of a, like a hard end game, you know, where there's just like a lot of you, it kind of it kind of had it, you know. There's like some rooms that are pretty fun in the, in the end, but um, it just, you know, you just kind of want like 10, 15, 20 more rooms, you know what I mean? That are explorable and have some puzzles to them and just add like, you know, like a nice little three hour section to the end game, you know? I, that's what I think about the game. And that'd be cool if that's what the remake did it does you know what i mean if the remake could somehow do everything that we wanted to do and a little bit more you know like give us the feel of this game give us the inventory give us all the the quirkiness of this game but give us better graphics give us more fleshed out areas give us a little bit more length a little bit more dick size no a little bit more length and then it would, you know what I mean? Then you got a 10 out of 10 fucking game. It's like, this is like one of the funnest ways to play Resident Evil 4, you know, is the remake. I don't really think they could, if they cut out stuff, I would be genuinely disappointed, you know? Like you could cut out some of the shitty parts of the game and replace them with better sections. And I'd be like, yeah. Cut out the fucking hedge maze or like change the way the hedge maze works. So it's more fun. That area is not really fun at all. You know what I mean? It's like, if they took it area by area and like really fleshed, fleshed it out, it could be like one of the best zombie killing games of all time, you know? I'm just hoping it's not another Resident Evil 3 remake. I've seen that game and that game looks fucking stupid. That game's, here, here's a couple reasons that game sucks. The inventory's boring. There's a box that stores infinite items, which doesn't even make sense. It's a black hole box, I guess. There's, most of the game is just you cut scenes and little areas where you run away from a, a guy who's invincible. Which they just, you know what I mean? It, it's like cool to do that a little bit in Resident Evil 2 remake. But then it just seemed like they just did it again, <laughs> you know? And the boss fights are just kind of like you shooting at a giant fucking hitbox that's moving around, you know what I mean? There's like... I don't know, the boss fights didn't look that fun to me. They look like worse versions of Resident Evil 4 boss fights, you know? Which doesn't really make sense. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the Resident Evil 3 remake. I, I watched that game and like, yeah, it's, it's got the scary factor. That's pretty good. Cause like the, some of the things you're running from are pretty scary, but I watched it. The game's like five hours long when a casual, like it, you could probably speed run that game in an hour, you know, like who wants to pay 40, 50, 60 bucks for a game that you're going to beat in four hours and not want to replay. Cause it's not that good, you know? 
the Resident Evil 2 remake is a little bit longer. The multiple paths make through the game make it a little bit more interesting. Um, they both kind of just steal the 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 system of having a pistol, a magnum, you know, like all the the classic Resident Evil guns. But they don't really do anything to make it fun, you know. You don't get to pick which one you upgrade, really. You don't get to. There's no merchant. There's no. You know what I mean? It's like they wouldn't. They didn't add the best stuff from Resident Evil 4 into Resident Evil 2. They just took a really old game and then bare bones made like a a new version of the Resident Evil series with it. You know, they didn't add areas literally like an old game but with new graphics and gameplay it's rude it's weird you know but the two looks decent you know it definitely doesn't look as fun as Resident Evil 4 it, look, it seems like a game that might be worth a playthrough if you're really itching for some Resident Evil probably would have a fun time I don't know about the third one. I'd probably be like, after I play the second one, I'd probably be like, meh. I don't really want to play that one. And that's pretty much my long spiel. I actually had a really good time playing through this game. I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't thinking I wanted to make these videos. I wasn't thinking I wanted to do Let's Plays and or, or even played games anymore, you know? I was kind of feeling like I wanted to take a break from games. I don't think I wanted to take a break from games. I think I, what I really wanted was just to play games, you know? And not be, like, afraid of playing games or afraid it's wasting my life or, or like, afraid if I don't dump all my time into Fortnite or Halo that I won't get any reward for it, any sort of payoff, you know? Or, you know, stuff like that. It's like... And once you realize, it's like, whoa, I actually really love playing games. And I haven't let myself do this in the, in the way that I want to in years. And now that I'm doing it, plus I'm making videos with it, it's like... You know what I mean? It's like... It's a little bit nerve-wracking. It's a little bit of a change out of your comfort zone. But also, it's like... I've been doing this my whole life. I just haven't been recording, you know? And, um... So then it's kind of fun. It's like, wait, I can share my skill with people. They can laugh at the moments I messed up. They can see how good I got over the years at certain things. You know, it's so it's more than you would think if you're not like a hardcore gamer. You know, as I think, like people who really love games can appreciate like let's plays, appreciate uh, just wh how other people feel about games, stuff like that conversations about the games they're playing and, and stuff. I'm kind of itching to play, uh, and, I, and if I'm itching to play something without even playing it, I know I want to play it. That's a lot of plays. I kind of want to play some Dark Souls, or Demon Souls, I mean. Or some Dark Souls, sorry. I always get those confused when I haven't pl uh, played them in a super long time. But I bought all the Dark Souls games right after I played, right as I was playing Demon Souls, I was like, I'm going to play all these games. And then I beat Demon Souls, and I was like, I think this would be funner if I play this like a year from now. Well, we're about a year later, and I'm kind of wanting to play some uh, Dark Souls. Mostly because I was like down to keep going, but then like I played the end of Demon Souls, and I was like, oh, this is fucking terrible. I'm good thing I wasn't recording. I don't think I recorded that. I don't think I recorded myself playing that game. But, um... Oh, the, I could rant for hours about how the, the way the end of that game is just like, I don't like it. Like, the first half of the game is so fun. And, uh... You, like, think there's gonna be all these possibilities. <laughs> and then your, your just dreams get crushed and you're like, oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Every level is pretty much done. I didn't do the last boss or something. I always do that. But I pretty much... I might have done it. I know, I don't think I did. But I pretty much beat the game besides that, you know? I 
I re like some of the parts were cool and they were like epic, but they were also like short and unnecessarily scary and like made the game feel like it lacked content, you know? So it basically just comes down to a game where you farm enemies instead of in a game where you adventure and do crazy new chapters, you know? That's what I didn't like about it. Um, there were, there, it was still a fun game, and, like, I'm glad I played through most of it, and, like, really, uh, I did a lot of the shit in the game, like, I might have not beat it, but I pretty much beat it, you know? To me, pretty much beating something is sometimes, you know what I mean, worth it. You know what I mean? It's not like you're a bad person because you didn't finish a game. You know, like, there's a difference between a guy who played 99% of the game and the guy who played 10% of the game and then just never played the game again. You know what I mean? And if a, and if a game's not worth your time, it's like... And if you've decided at some point that it's not worth your time, that's cool. If you're not playing it just out of laziness or, or something, or fear, <laughs> that's me. It's like, scary games get me, bro. It's not really that I'm that scared, it's that the idea of being, of maybe being scared, you know? That's that's how I am, though. It's like, I'm not actually afraid of death. It's the idea that I might die is scary. <laughs> um, what else are we talking about? I got some, the, I got some, I bought this Shadow Warrior game collection. Oh, we're still there. And I got, I got some cool games for Steam that I bought cheap a while back. I don't know how many people have said that in their life, right? Um, but I really want to try it, give them a shot. One game's called Icy, and it's supposed... To, I like the name. I like the art style. It looks really cool. I liked how it looked. It's like a 2D side-scroller, beat-em-up, uh, hack-and-slashy type game. It might, it might not be as fun as I'm thinking, but... It looked like something I would want to play through once, you know? Like a Castle Crashers, you know? It looked kind of like a... It doesn't look like Castle Crashers, but you know what I mean? It's like one of those games where it's like... It might be short, it might not be the best game in the world, but I gotta play through this game once. You know what I mean? Like, that's what Castle Crashers was. Like, you had to play through that game once. <laughs> if you didn't, there was something wrong with you. Like, get the fuck off of Xbox, sell your Xbox, you're not playing through Castle Crashers, bro. I want to look through my Steam list, and but I got these Shadow Warrior games that like might be fun to just like practice mouse and keyboard with. Um, they don't look like the best games ever, but they for like they look like those games where they you pay five dollars for them, but you get like a forty dollar game out of it. You know what I mean? It might not be like a sixty dollar like crazy like like that new um Sekiru or whatever it's called the new like sort ninja sword game that everyone freaking likes it might not be that game but it's still a pretty badass game you know and for and then for for the price you're just like yeah I definitely want to give that a shot actually kind of after this after I'm done recording I'm going to check out see if there's any steam sales because there might be, like, the off chance that there's, like, you know what I mean, the perfect game that I want to play. Um, now I kind of want to play with some more Resident Evil. <laughs> See, that's the problem. If I even take, when I'm playing through this game, that's how good it is. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm playing through it, if I even stop playing it for 40 minutes, I want to go and finish the game and beat it. You know what I mean? And I'm not like that, usually. I, I like to take games slow, or I like to quit them before I beat them so I don't have to feel the feeling of losing them yeah <laughs> which is pretty much uh my love life in a nutshell I'm pretty much right everyone's love life people be loving you for a while and then they don't want to see you go but then the, f the fear of seeing you go makes them freak out and do something that pushes you away completely or or, or decides in their brain that they're leaving instead of keep sticking it out. You know what I mean? And the same dynamic goes with video games. It's, it's kind of interesting. They have really made a lot of these Shadow Warrior games. See, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's like, nobody really knows about these games, but they're actually like, 
if I had to compare them to something, it's kind of like you're playing... The old ones is kind of like you're playing Duke Nukem 64. And the newer ones look like you're kind of playing, like, um, Mad Max. Is that the game? No, it's not called Mad Max. Kind of looks like you're playing the newer Duke Nukem. <laughs> kind of looks like you're playing, like, an overtop action 3D shooter game. The graphics on the new one, newer ones look so, kind of decent, actually. I don't know if I have the newest one. I know I have, like, a 3D ver a game. I didn't even know the game existed, and I was like, it might be good. It might be something that makes me hate video games, you know? Uh, what else? We have so many games in the Epic Game Store, like, I could, if I wanted to get serious about this, I could, I could fucking play games for, like, the next two months. Like, every day for, like, 12 hours and just play through all these Epic games that are actually really good. Like, just a few of them I want to play are, like, Darksiders 1 and 2, uh, Celeste, this game called, like, Abzu, Moonlighter, fucking The Messenger, I want to beat, enter the Gungeon, I played a lot of that game and it's really fun, it's just, when you've redone the first four levels, you know, and you're just really good at the first four levels, it makes you not want to play the first fucking four levels over and over, you know? So that's why I was like, yeah, I kind of need a break on that. It was annoying because I was really good at the first four levels, and if I just stuck with it a little longer, I could have been good at this, the, the whatever the last one, the last couple of ones, and then I would have been done with the game. But but it gives me a chance to go back, and and that's one of those games where it's like kind of fun to go back because you like get different combos of items and stuff. I don't think I would play Binding of Isaac again. It would have to be... I would have to be drunk. There would have to be, like, a really hot chick who fucking loves Binding of Isaac. <laughs> That's about the only way I'd play Binding of Isaac again. Because I played the shit out of that game, and I did, like, a lot of the extra stuff. And I beat... I went through the whole game and beat it, like, four times or something. Or something. Or most, because it's one of those games where the ending just keeps going. It's like, no, you thought you thought you were done. Now we got another level for you. And it's this one's harder. It's more of bullet hell. It's weird to think that I paid for Destiny One, and then they just released a bunch of content that you needed to pay more for eventually. <laughs> that was like most of the game, and then now they're just giving away Destiny Two for free. I never played Destiny 2, and I, unless I'm really desperate for like some mouse and keyboard action, I probably won't play pay for it. Because I know if I start playing it, then I might like some of it, and I might want to pay for it. <laughs> pay for whatever the fuck you can pay for. I got Rocket League, that would be kind of fun, but... I played that game. It's like one of those games where it's it's developed pretty well, but it's like... It's still a game that man, you know, that humans fucking created and you just like gotta hope that it works, you know? It's not like... I don't know, man. It's just like... It's not like a soccer, like if, if you were a soccer pro and you kicked that ball, like you know it, it's gonna go in, you know what I mean? In that game, it's like you're driving a car around a little soccer field and and you kind of hope that it goes towards the goal, you know? I'm not saying that you can't get good at it. It's just, I don't know how much fun it would be to be good at, you know what I mean? I don't I don't really think it would be that fun. Like, to me, the first, like, five years of getting good at Halo, that was really fun, you know? I, had, I, 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 I don't even know, I didn't rage that much, honestly. If I ever raged, it was, like, because of lag or something. Or like really bad teammates. It wasn't because of the game or how good I was at it. I was happy with how good I was at it, you know? And it was fun to keep getting better. <sighs> but now it's like, I can kind of tell if I want to get good at something, you know? Like a speedrunning Mario, any Mario game pretty much, that that sounds fun. I can see how that, that's addicting. Getting super good times, getting super fast at the game. Like that, that would be fun for a while at least. But getting good at Rocket League, eh, 
not really my kind of thing, you know? It'd be like the equivalent of me not liking FIF, not liking soccer, but wanting to be a FIFA pro, you know? It doesn't really make sense. Not that, I also, I think it's a good game, you know? I definitely think it's a good game. It's just like one of those that's not for me, you know? When I was a kid, I was not like that. If a game, if I didn't like a game, I was like, that game fucking sucks, bro. And if it was like a game I love, I'd fucking like die for it. Like Paper Mario, Paper Mario, I'd run through a blizzard and, and lose a fucking left leg. When I, when I was a kid and I wanted Paper Mario, I would have done anything for that game. And th the funny thing is, I didn't even play the game, but I knew I loved the game. You know what I mean? Like that's the weird part about being a kid. When I'm older now, like I, I can't, I, I get that a little bit, but it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna love the game. You know what I mean? A lot of times I hate the game. Like Fortnite was a surprise. It was like, I fell in love with a game that I had no clue I was ever gonna even start playing, you know? But, um, and I was actually against playing the game at first. Cause I was like, wait, this game's kind of like PUBG. I, I seen PUBG, I hate that fucking game. <laughs> You know, <coughs> but when I was a kid, it was like, and I'm coughing because I've been talking for two hours straight. But when I was a kid, it was like Super Smash Bros. in the 64. Fuck yeah. Let's steal this game from the fucking neighbors and kill them. You know what I mean? Like, let's fucking kill the neighbor boy. <laughs> like I was, I was probably like a couple Mountain Dews away from killing the fucking neighbor boy and stealing his Super Smash Bros. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's how fucking bad I wanted to play that game. And I barely... Like, from the first time I figured out how to grab a guy and, and spin him around as Mario and throw him off the stage, I was hooked. I was like, this is the best game of all time. And and that, that was just more true for, like, every game. Wind Waker. I didn't get Wind Waker as a kid. But we got the fucking demo for Wind Waker, and I played that shit for fucking like 20 hours, bro. And it was a demo. <laughs> like, there wasn't even any content in the game. You know what I mean? It was just like, I knew I was gonna love that game. Before I even ever started it up, I seen a, I seen a screenshot of the fucking game, and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> you know? And now it's like, you don't really know if you're gonna like it. It might be a shit fucking game that just looks kinda nice, you know? Or like a section of the game looks fun and then, and then you realize the whole game is actually pretty shit. Resident Evil 3 Remake. Game of dog shit. Like, a after being a, such a Resident Evil 4 fan and I seen what the, what the Resident Evil 3 Remake was like, I was like, oh, you guys are fucking milking it, aren't you? Like, some parts of it are cool. Like, the graphics, the movement... Uh, um, <laughs> the, those two things are pretty good. But like everything else is like the inventory sucks, the weapons suck, the enemies suck, the air, the game's short, the story sucks, there's no like treasures, there's no place to spend money, there's no reward system. You know what I mean? It's just like missing, it's like you got the 20% of the game that, that tricks people into buying it right, but you fucking rest, you ruin the rest of it. You know what I mean? Because good movement and good graphics, those things aren't that hard for developers to do nowadays. And somehow they they always get them right now. You know what I mean? It's like it's like every game. The standard of, of games is at the point where graphics and gameplay or graphics and movement are generally pretty good. But then they just do everything else so shit that it's like. I really wanted to play a, a new Resident Evil game that, like, it doesn't have to be better than Resident Evil 4. It just has to be good, you know? But instead, you threw threw me a fucking 3 out of 10 fucking hot dog. You threw me a fucking 3 out of 10 breadstick. And, and it doesn't taste that good. It's a stale breadstick, you know what I mean? It's missing, it's missing the, most of the stuff that you want. A good lengthy story, interesting areas, interesting guns, characters. It's just missing like a lot of that. And all it really has is a couple cutscenes that look really nice. And some decent movement to make it look like a new game, you know? 
It's like they're not going to go back to like a clunky Resident Evil 4 movement when they got better stuff than that. But for some reason, they're not going to spend any time making... Like, there's literally, like... <laughs> there's literally... Okay, Resident Evil 7 has, like, what? Two enemy types? It has, like, a zombie, a husky guy, and, like, a bug. You know? And then, like... Resident Evil 4 has, like, 25 enemy types. You know what I mean? And then... And then Resident Evil 2, re or 2 Remake is, is kind of decent. Got a little bit of enemies, five, six, or something, something like maybe seven different kinds, <laughs> which is somehow enough. Like that game had a potential to be a really good game, but it's also like one of those cucked games for some reason. Like they rushed it or something. Didn't really have ambitions with it. <laughs> but then Resident Evil Three is like. You got zombies, you got like one other type of zombie, and then you got like a giant guy who chases you around. And that's the, literally the whole game. And you could probably run through that game in, in an hour, you know what I mean? Like not even being a, a non-speedrunner, you could probably beat that game in, in like two hours and, and like 30 minutes or something. Like just like really short. Like two hours and 30 minutes of gameplay. They're trying to sell that for $60 now, you know? I'm pretty sure that game debuted at 60 bucks, and it's not that, you know what I mean? It's like 40 now or something. It's still pretty expensive. It might be more than that, maybe 50. But I mean like two, two and a half hours of gameplay. An average, you know, like an average gamer could probably beat that game in three hours if they, didn't like meander around for no reason you know and then like who wants to replay a game that's one extremely short two would be extremely repetitive to replay and see see me outside <laughs> like catch me outside no i'm just kidding but you know what i mean it's like the game isn't good i'm not gonna replay it I don't even want to play it the first time. I could tell it's not good just by watching reviews and watching videos of it. You know? You can't hide any... That's the thing. <laughs> it's weird because now that they can't hide their games, the whole game gets put up on YouTube in a fucking day. <clears throat> Somehow they still don't make games that are good and lengthy. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> how, how, how long can we fuck over these idiots? That, that, it just, that just seems like the, some of these CEOs mentalities. Like, look at fucking Nintendo. Their system is basically like... Haha, we're the first one to make a tablet with a controller attached. Haha, <laughs> bitches. Like, that's basically their system. You know what I mean? Like, we don't got good games. We re-released fucking Mario Kart from the Wii U. We couldn't even make a new fucking Mario Kart. And basically all their games are just indie developed games and games from other publishers that they were that were out for a long time so they're like hey let's just release it on the switch too anyway even though it used to be an exclusive you know what i mean that, that's what they do and then it's like then you think about nintendo and you're like what happened to you guys, you know? Like, where's Mario Sunshine 2? Where's Twilight Princess 2? Where's fucking... Something, you know? Give us fucking something. Give us a fucking 3D Mario game that is not ass, and it's for adults, you know what I mean? Like, Odyssey, if you're a little kid, that game might be the funnest game in the world to you for, for a while, you know? But as an adult who loves Mario games, it's like fuck you, where's my sunshine, where's my Mario 64, where's my Mario Galaxy, you know what I mean? Like, even, I used to hate Mario Galaxy, but after playing Mario Odyssey, I'm like, damn, Mario Galaxy is fucking good, you know what I mean? And then you, st you keep thinking about Nintendo, and it's like, wait, you can't give us a Zelda, you, you won't try to give us a Donkey Kong 3D, a 3D Donkey Kong game for some reason, you won't, it's like they don't want to do anything. 
You know what I mean? And then you start to think like, okay. Every time I thought I was lazy in my life, now I just think about these Nintendo guys who are fucking millionaires and they don't even want to make a Zelda game. You know what I mean? They don't even want to make a good Zelda game, a good Mario game, a good Metroid game. They they canceled the Metroid game they were working on for fucking 10 years because they were too lazy to do anything with it. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you guys doing? You guys are stepping into your game design studio and you're fucking like sitting by the coffee machine and, and chit-chatting for fucking six hours every day or something. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You guys haven't released a good Mario game or a good Zelda game in like fucking 10 years. Literally 10 years. Skyward Sword was like... Yeah, maybe if it was twice as long and and there was a map. <laughs> the game doesn't have a fucking map. And um, it's like, man, let's skip a map and just make some little islands like Wind Waker. Like, fuck you guys. You guys made Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the fucking GameCube. You guys made two of the best games of all time. And then you guys go and make and do this. And then you guys fucking do this. And you make you make Skyward Sword, and then and then after you make Skyward Sword, you make Breath of the Fucking Wild to appeal to the fucking dumbest gamers of all time. You know what I mean? Like, oh fuck, interesting, scary, amazing dungeons with a bunch of puzzles like the fucking Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. Let's climb in a fucking giant elephant and jump on its fucking ass. <laughs> like what? Why did and the boss fight is so generic. The boss fights are generic and, and trash. I, I started I started that game. And all I could think about when I was at the first boss fight was like how disgusting that it wasn't the fucking monkey from Twilight Princess that has a fucking baboon ass. You know what I mean? Like when you fought that monkey in Twilight Princess, you were like, fuck yeah. This is the Forest Temple, brother. But then when you went and, and you play Breath of the Wild, if you're a real Zelda fan, and you're not just being a fucking fanboy to that game. I'm not saying it's the worst game ever. If you like fucking adventuring around, you know, I'm like, I'm glad the game exists. But the fact that it, it, it exists over a, another Zelda game is just, and, and people are okay with that. You know what I mean? It's like, what? I want Breath of the Wild, and I want fucking, where is my Zelda for the Wii? You know, where's my 3D Zelda game that doesn't need motion controls? Where's my Zelda for the Wii U? Where's my Zelda game that came out for the Switch that isn't a fucking Skyrim clone? You know what I mean? It's like, you guys made us love Twilight Princess. You made us love Wind Waker. We can never forget about those games. But now you, like, won't even give us anything that comes close to it, you know? Not even close. Like, when the fuck... Twilight Princess came out in, like, 2010 or some shit. Or maybe earlier. 2009. Right? Isn't that game, like, old as fuck? 2008? When did that game come out? That game is old as fuck now. 2007? That game is super old, actually. And it still, like, has better graphics. And better gameplay. And a better story. And a more interesting world. And, and more creative ideas. You know what I mean? It's like everything about the game is better and the game is 13 years old built on a system that is, has like a quarter of the power of the cheap systems of today you know what I mean and that's just crazy to think about it's like you guys should just start developing games for the GameCube again because I'm fucking done with your shit I don't want to pay $60 for a game on my Switch that I can get on my damn PC how fucking stupid do you think I am? And then... Well, that's my that's that's my next hour rant on, on fucking games these days. And you know, what game would inspire this more than Resident Evil 4, right? Because it's like... This game is like the epitome of I was ahead of my time. I was an amazing game. Even though you guys all appreciated this game, somehow it'll still be better than what you guys appreciated it for. You know what I mean? It was like one of those games that was above and beyond. Best thing a gamer could hope for. Best $50 you could ever spend. You know what I mean? I think I got this game for like fucking 20 bucks, like two years after it came out too or something. Or like a year after it came out. It was like, I got it, I remember getting it cheap like early on. 
or it might have been, been 40 bucks or something, but it, I know I got it like pretty quick on a deal, you know what I mean? And that's that's the cool thing about the GameCube era, you know what I mean? They had like player's choice and stuff, and it was like they thought they were gonna keep making new games, so they were like, well, Mario Sunshine, we'll sell that for 20 bucks. And now they're like, well, Mario Odyssey, we'll probably never make a good Mario game again, so let's sell this for 60 bucks three years after it fucking come out. You know what I mean? Isn't Mario Odyssey like three years old? They probably still sell that shit for fucking 50 bucks on, on Amazon, you know what I mean? Like 44 bucks or some shit. And that's fucking bullshit, because that game is worth like $10. I wouldn't pay fucking $10 for that game. That game is fucking dog shit. I would pay $5. If I didn't play that game, I'd pay $5. Like, any little kid who plays that game should just fucking go play Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and Donkey Kong 64 and have a better life. You know what I mean? Like, those three games are better than anything Mario Odyssey will ever have. And it'd be cool if they were charging $5 for Mario Odyssey, but I, I guarantee they're charging, like, full price for the shit. It's like, why would I ever get that game... When I could play Resident Evil 4, I could buy a GameCube version of it for fucking ten dollars. You know what I mean? I could, I could pay five dollars on Steam for an illegal Steam code and and have it on Steam. You know? Someone said that this game was unoptimized, and I've literally had no problems with this game. The the mouse and keyboard works perfect. Well, I've had a couple problems with the button mapping, but that's not a big issue. But the mouse and keyboard works perfect. And, uh, I kind of wish I learned to play this game from the default position. Um, actually, I could just switch and I would probably not take me any time to learn at all. I'm fucking nasty. Eh. I'm used to what I'm using. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. I don't know if you can play Darksiders with a keyboard. I feel like... That would be unnecessarily hard. It's like a controller game, you know? It's like trying to play Zelda with a... Moving around in that 3D space is just easier with a controller, you know? Maybe, maybe it's good, you know? Darksiders would be a little fun game. I know it's going to be one of those games where I play it. I'm going to like it a little bit. But I'm going to kind of like wish I was playing a new Zelda, you know, or wish I was playing something else a little bit. But it's one of those games that, like, borrows heavily from different franchises, but it doesn't quite match them, you know? So it'll be fun for one playthrough, I bet. More than Darksiders, I'm excited to play. If I had to go off of, like, a quick list of what I want to play the most, Donkey Kong Country 2... Donkey Kong Country 3, the first Donkey Kong Country. I don't want to play that as much for obvious reasons. Um, Mario RPG. Donkey Kong 64, I never beat that game as a kid, I don't think. No, I definitely didn't beat that game as a kid. Uh, Banjo, I don't know if I said Banjo, Kazooie, and Tooie. I want to play those games really bad. I never I never played Tooie. I played like the first level because we rented it when I was a kid. I want to play that Gecko 64 game. And then there's like a game with like these lizards. It's like licking lizards or some fucking shit. I always wanted to play that game. I know it's not that fun. I tried it once after as an adult. I can't remember, but I know that game's not that fun, but it's it's decent. There's like a there's a game for the GameCube I wanted to play. It's like a cricket game or some shit. I forget what it's called. It's actually kind of it's like a 2D hopping game but it's like kind of a has like an adventures quality to it that's pretty fun like a big world um and it's weird to think that all of the best platforming games are on the 64 you know what i mean it's like ratchet and clank is pretty good doesn't really compare it to donkey kong 64 or mario 64 or banjo kazooie in my opinion you know what I mean? It's like, where's the good platforming games? I know it's possible. Y'all made Super Mario Sunshine. That game is fucking gorgeous. And and it's so fun. 
Like, I love that game. I could think about, like, every part of that game right now, and I'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't mind playing through that game again at some point. It sucks because the last time... I played that game too much. That's my problem. I know every level. I know I can think of most of the stars. I just played it too much. Otherwise, I would be interested in playing it again. Like, I, I probably did the first, like, six worlds in that game, like... I don't, know, I don't even want to know how many times I did that. <laughs> I beat it a couple times, too. I don't really enjoy the last few levels that much. That's another game where it's like you play 80% of it, but you really... You know what I mean? You really did all of it, you know? You did most of the fun levels. I would say the only part that's bad in that game is the last level. It's not bad, it's just like not that fun. Because it, it doesn't really follow the formula of Mario. It's like... You're like on a fucking like boat, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like on a boat in a lava. That's like the whole end level or something. I don't like that part. There's also a couple of worlds I don't like in that game. Um, the hotel world is actually like kind of badass. There's like a big fight there with a man manta ray that's terrifying. That one, that part's cool. Um, what worlds do I not like in that game? Some of them are so good and they have so much potential. Like the big, the air, the one where you're like up in the trees. That place is fun, and it, and if it was like fleshed out a little more, that place would be so good. Um. See, like, I can think about all the levels. I don't like the blooper level. The, the blooper level, oh my god, that level is fucking terrible. You have to, like, do these annoying blooper races for half the stars. It, it like, could have been fun, because the platforming on it is really, has, like, potential to be, like, super fun. But you can kind of just cheat it by using the jetpack. So that kind of ruins a lot of that, well, the blooper world. It's like... I don't remember. You know, if you're a Mario Sunshine player, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the sand world there, the, it's like a big beach. I like. I kind of like. There's like a giant, terrifying wiggler going around. And, I don't know. The stars in that one. It just seems like you just walk up and you get the star. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't have to do anything really. You just walk up and, and do and walk into the star basically. And do one thing. It's like playing Halo Five or playing Halo Four. You just walk and press the button, you know. But there are some really good levels in that game. Again, another one that's like hit and miss, the 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 amusement park level. Like some of the stars in that is so fun. But, like, I hated doing the fucking giant Bowser destruction thing. I would have rather freaking, like, climbed up to the top again and climbed up even higher this time. You know what I mean? But climbing the amusement park area was pretty fun. But then it has, like, some shit stars, too. What else about that game, right? The first world is so good. The first world in that game is good. But then they, like, don't do enough with that you know what i mean it's like you kind of want like a few extra levels there i always want more from my games but but for real you, you like kind of want like uh i'm ready for some resident evil 4 i might just start the game back up you know uh you kind of want like the the normal map is fun it's just like you kind of want a couple levels that are more normal. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the game just comes down to... Oh, I got this... Um... Flood upgrade. Now I can go grab a star for free. You know what I mean? They did some really good parts with like the levels where you lose your flood. But the game like isn't made for no flood. You know what I mean? So that guy, it's not like Mario 64. 
you kind of need a flood to make the game feel comfortable and fun a lot of the time. So that, that was another hit and miss thing. It's like if you guys would have just made the game a little bit more like Mario 64, the game could have been like the best Mario game of all time. But instead, it's just like another fun game to play, you know? Mario 60. I would rather play Mario 64, you know? The mechanics on Mario 64 are more fun. Um, some of the levels are, are definitely more fun. Just because of, like, the cool jumps you can do. There's definitely some cool stuff in Mario Sunshine. But you would have to be, like, a speedrunner to know it, you know? Like, in Mario 64, I feel like there's more room for creativity. You could just mess around and, and find your own tricks, you know? In Sunshine, it's like... There's basically one trick, and it's like the spin triple jump. You know what I mean? And that's basically... It doesn't really do that much for you. It's mostly a speed running thing, yeah? But Mario 64, it's like... Damn. So many cool wall jumps, triple jump wall jumps, fucking side jumps, you know, like dashing up hills you're not supposed to be able to walk up, or cannoning the areas, crazy areas, you know what I mean? There's like, so many things. Oh, what else about games, eh? That was the longest talk I've ever had in my life about games. Honestly. Like, I might have talked to my friends quite a bit about games when I was a kid. We never, like, just sat there for fucking... How long I've been talking? An hour and 30 minutes straight of just, like, talking about random game stuff. I want to get that game... One game I want to get... Because people said it was better than Icy... Icy Wiener. It's, uh... Called Dusk and Lazian Tale or whatever. And it's, like... Supposed to be a really good hack and slash, like 2D side scrolling. I think I think that's what it is. Those are my, those are some of my favorite kind of games. Ever since I played Castlevania as a kid, I've been loving those games, and that's why I want to play Messenger. That game looks really fun. So that's one of those games where it's like the only reason I haven't played it is because I feel like I'm gonna like it too much, you know, and then I'm gonna beat it. Like Hollow Knight. Once I, the second I found out what Hollow Knight was, I was like, fuck yeah, bro. This is better than Metroid. Fuck yeah. I was like down to be the biggest Hollow Knight fan ever. But then I played the game and I beat it really fast. And then I was like, damn, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I got nothing, bro. That's, that's, the, that's the thing about games is people don't understand how much you fall in love with games. You know what I mean? I think it's probably like that for a lot of stuff. It's like if you're really into music or a certain TV show, like you get so emotionally attached to them that you don't even know. You don't even know, you know? And then if somebody makes fun of that game or doesn't know that show or doesn't, or even like picks on you for liking it, you're, you're, you're aggressive about it. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm a man. I'm, I think I had a dream like a year ago. This is kind of funny that this dream just popped in my head. I was like down in my... I had a dream like a year ago and uh, whatever reason I was it was like I was playing Resident Evil but I was like in my grand it was like a spooky version of my grandparents fucking um shed and I was like grabbing items up and looking around for zombies or something it's just kind of funny I thought about that dream now I haven't I haven't thought about that dream since I had it I don't think That was like a year ago. That's, a, that's another funny thing. It's like sometimes you have dreams and then you don't really know what the purpose of them is. But then like a year later, you're like, hey, I kind of ended up like living out that dream in my life a little bit, you know? I'm trying to think like, while I'm on the topic of games, you know, I'm trying to think like, what other games do I really want to play? I think it'd be cool to play through the Beautiful Joe games. I don't know if there's like two or three of them. I don't remember. I know there's like more than one. It might just be like a handheld version or something. I'm not sure. But it'd be fun to play through that. 
I know I don't like those games that much, but it's like one of those, it's one of those games that's like worth a playthrough, you know? Um, oh, Cuphead. It'd be fun to finish that game. I kind of wanted to wait to finish it until they have, there's supposed to be like a Cuphead DLC coming out, but I don't fucking know where that is. I'm kind of upset, honestly. I think I have to replay through all of Cuphead too, because my Cuphead file is like on another computer or something. Hopefully it's just on my hard drive or external hard drive. <laughs> Ugh. I gotta freaking take a walk. Take a piss. Take a drink. Now I'm ready to play some Resident Evil 4. <laughs> I kind of want to play Donkey Kong. See, this is why you start doing good things, because it's like, you start doing a few things for yourself, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I kind of want to draw, I kind of want to paint, I kind of want to make a song right now after I take a walk, you know what I mean? It's just like, you go from a state of being where it's like, I can't really do anything for myself, and nothing seems fun, and just by getting the ball rolling, it's like, all of a sudden it's like, dang, I want to do this and this and this and this and this. And I'm actually going to do a lot of these things in order. You know what I mean? And maybe you didn't get to some of the hard stuff that you wanted to do quite yet. But at least now you're headed in the direction instead of just being stuck somewhere, you know? Stuck waiting in life. All right, so we got our philosophy session over with. We got our gamers philosophy session over with. We got our... A Resident Evil session over with. Probably time to get relax and recharge a little bit and come back and, and do some more stuff. I feel like there's some game, you know what I mean? I feel like there's some some games I love that I haven't played. I'm trying to trying to think about them. Cause I, I have a lot of games up in my head. I just don't know which ones are gonna be the best. There's some new games I want to I want to play Doom Eternal. I want to play Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm glad is out on the PC now. I'm going to get a fucking PS4. I want to play that God of War for the fucking PS4. That game looks dope. Um, doesn't look as fun as the old God of Wars, though, honestly. Looks like a, it just looks like a different kind of game, you know? It's like, you're not going to get that crazy, I'm fighting a fucking Titan, you know? I liked that shit. I really liked God of War 1, 2, 3, and I think there was a fourth one for the PS3 that um, I know there was one. I just, my memory of it isn't that good. I've only played it once. But that game was really good. It was just like kind of short and left you feeling like they were never going to make a God of War again, which they never did, you know? They ended up making this new God of War, which isn't really the same kind of... It's a new take on God of War, at least. I'm trying to think of... There's a game called Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts 2, I think. I always wanted to play it because I thought it was like Kingdom Hearts, but I don't think it's anything like Kingdom Hearts. Um... There's some platformy type games I want to play, like beating whatever the best Kirby game is. I don't know if it's Amazing Mirror. Or there's there's probably a good Kirby game I haven't beat. Um, I'd like to play the Yoshi's Island for the DS again. That game would just be kind of weird to play on fucking on PC though. That would suck. Uh, playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu would be kind of fun. That game's overpriced. It's just a fucking remake. I guess I got kind of to look at some lists of games that I have to see what I want to play. But there's definitely a lot of games. There's games like Enter the Gungeon that I want to play. I want to, I want to beat Blazing Beaks once. That game is decent. There's a game called Ida. There's a game called... I wouldn't mind playing... I had Dead Cells for a while. I wouldn't mind playing that. I kind of want to give Final Fantasy XV a shot. 
Final Fantasy XV looks like a game they put a lot of effort into. But I don't know what's fun about it. Do you know what I mean? It seemed like they were making that game for years and they kind of just like hodgepodge a game together by the end of it, you know? Or maybe it's a really good game, I don't know. I, I kind of want to watch a review. I'm going to do that. I'm going to watch a review on that game. Final Fantasy, is it 15? They used to, like 10 years ago, they called that game Final Fantasy Versus 13 or some shit. And then it has nothing to do with Final Fantasy 13 or... I don't know why they can't make a good Final Fantasy. Like, literally, just fucking make Final Fantasy um, 7 and then just make a new game. You know what I mean? I want to play the Final Fantasy 7 remake. I can't even... I've, I wanted to play that game, but now I don't even know. Is that game turn-based or is that game a hack and slash? Like, I, I really have no clue. That game looks kind of fun, but then you realize that instead of releasing a full Final Fantasy VII remake like they used to promise, they gave us a third of a fucking game. But some people said it was perfect, you know what I mean? I've seen some people where they, they just like thought it was like the best remake they ever could have done, so maybe it's actually really good. To me, it seems like it's, it's probably short, might not be worth, we'll see if, if my opinion changes, but it, to me, it seems like it's probably short, not really worth the money, um, probably kind of disappointing when you finish it, and you don't get like take those characters outside of Midgar. But hey, maybe maybe they did it really fucking good, and it's like a really detailed remake with extra stuff in it. I don't know. That was one of the things that I always wanted as a kid, though, was like <sighs> Midgar was fun, and it was like once you did it once, it was like you wanted more Midgar. You know what I mean? And you don't really ever get more Midgar. You go back to Midgar for like a little bit in the game, but it, it's just kind of like, just for like nostalgia shake, shake, nostalgia shake. You go back there for like one fight, you know, like two fights, you know. All right, that's it for this crazy episode of Resident Evil 4 and, and chill. If you stuck around for the whole thing, you're crazy. I should have watched it in fast forward mo or something. Fast forward mo, what the fuck? We'll save up again. How much time do we got now? Stack on some time and some saves. And now we're ready to play. No. I want to get this recording out there. Oh, I'm, I was recording this whole time in like super high quality. That was dumb. That was pretty dumb, honestly. Whatever. High quality for me, because I don't got any freaking hard drives. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably have more of this chat in the next episode, because I'm going to be getting pretty close to beating this game after a few more episodes, so maybe even in the next one or two, I might be getting close. I don't really remember. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of talking about... So I'll put it at the end, hopefully, so that people can skip it if they want. I'm going to have a lot of talking about what I'm doing with the channel, uh, what games we're playing next, um, games that I w I'm interested in playing next next, you know, games I'm going to get in the not too far out, distant future. And uh, I got a little bit of money saved up, so hopefully uh, we'll find some games that I'm, I really want to play. Maybe we can get some new games too. But we have some good games to play for, for now too. So things are going pretty good. And uh you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the long one. Back out of this crap. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad I started doing this stuff. It's fun. You know, I feel like ready to do more things in my life, and that's all that really matters. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.